what is up guys, I'm Brandon here today and welcome to another fantastic deck video. Today, well, we continue right with a lightning type decks and we're gonna talk about Electro GX deck. Another card that will rotate out quite soon, but I think it's a great time to actually play it in that format because this is a deck that should not work. Everything says the deck should not work, but hey, it does work and it's really good. And honestly, it again, another deck that surprised me how good it is if you play it right. And of course, you know, in the gameplay portion, I'll exactly show you how to play the deck because this deck once played right, it can beat literally everyone. So what is really good about Electro GX? That's a great question and I'll answer right away. So extra energy bomb, uh, extra energy bomb ability that says that you can, you know, knock this Electro GX out on your own. So you kind of, you know, your opponent draws two prize cards, but you bring five energies to your, to your Pokemons that are not GXs and EXs. Well, you have Bolt and V. And you know how this goes, right? So if you discard enough because uh, it's super easy to discard five energies during your turn one and turn two you can launch it you can do it and you already have six at least six energies on the board plus electro power it's a huge attack coming here from a bolt storm but also we do play one copy of tapu koko so that is a thunder bolt 200 damage incoming as well and of course you know with uh, the bolt and you, know, you kind of have that interaction and if you go second that's even better because you already uh, used bolton's attack that is electrifies so already have three energies on the board you bring back five you attach one from your hand that that is literally, if I can correct this, oh, you got one uh, first turn attachment electrified, that gives you three tops. Then five you bring, that's eight, and you still have another turn, so you attach from hand, that is nine cards. And if you still want, you can play Tapu Coco Prism, that is a ton of damage that is incoming in those two, th two three first turns. And of course, you can do it multiple times. Again, if you're playing against the mill decks, right, you can do that two times uh, and go down to two price cards, right? Your opponent excuse me, we'll go down to two price cards, but this is not the thing I would recommend. Uh, best idea, discard five, use a turn two, and that is it, like, don't overdo it. Uh, there are gonna be, I don't know if I'm gonna include that game, so I'm gonna say it right here, that if the board state allows you to do it, if you know you're not gonna get punished for using the extra energy bomb second time, do it, use it, but you have to know what is the board so you have to know that this is the moment that when you use it you win the game right Cause was, you might even go down to one prize card you know opponent might go but you have to be sure if you're using this ability second time that you have to w this turn when you use it because going back you're probably dead right at uh, at this point because they might boss all this you know they might knock you out so you have to be sure when using it second time so let's go card by card and let's check out this beautiful beautiful deck so we do have resource management oranguru that we're gonna say goodbye to but again this is the oranguru that's gonna bring back a lot of cards that we want you know this is gonna bring boss all this wonders may not not wondrous labyrinth but boss all this cherish balls uh maybe something that you will discard right away and uh, your first turn then we got a key card and actually two copies of Shackle with fresh squeezed, right, freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy, you might say, huh? But uh, again, this is the card that you will be able to play turn one, because that's what you want to go for, right? You quick ball or communication for that uh, card, because this allows you to discard three energies. Of course, if you will play a scoop up on it, you can play it one more time. This gives you six energies in a discard pile. So imagine this turn right now let's say you got six seven let's say seven uh, energy in a discard pile you have tapu coco you have your electro gx you bring back seven seven literally seven energies in one turn from a discard pile if that is not acceleration i don't know what is and this is huge boost this beats literally a peak rum in terms of acceleration. Then we got three Bolton Vs, three Dedenes, one Tapu Koko Prism, and one Tapu Koko V, with line of 4-2 Voltorb, Voltorb Electrode. Uh, why 4-2? Because we're going to be discarding a lot, and honestly, we want to be sure that we're going to hit that Voltorb, right? So you want to be sure that you're going to hit that Voltorb. Of course, we do have Cherish Balls to get it, but this is the best way, right? You know, having a bit more but just being sure, right? Because so statistics will work for you. If you want to go th four three, go for it. 
I like four too. Then we got one Zara Aura and one Machado with Resting Hole. Then we got three Charge Balls to get the GX like the Denes, like Zara Aura and also Electrode. We've got of course going down one Pole Pad to bring back supporters, three Pokemon Communications with full playset of Quick Balls. Uh, we are not playing Electromagnetic Radar here and this is the reason that this just feels a bit better that charge ball i just prefer it but if you want you know you can go for electromagnetic radar but this charge ball just gives you exactly what you need and in the amount that you need and you not necessarily discard stuff right because this is the shackle that discards the dna not necessarily anything else but hey if you want to you can go for it four reset stamps we are reset stamp heavy but this really helps the same goes with scoop up nets all four to be sure that we're gonna get them on shackle um, of course you might say oh you know do you play well uh, Volkner we are not playing Volkner and that is why the certain ratio of cards is here of course we're playing multiple four copies of almost each card so we are sure that we're gonna have a consistent deck because consistency here is the key right of course we got one wonders labyrinth because we're gonna have so much energy right it doesn't hurt us at all like if we're gonna have to pay one more uh, or if our attack is gonna cost one more energy like we really don't care when we're playing this deck but uh, for our opponent that might be game win or game lost right game one game lost so this is huge here two bosses oldest four magnolias we got two big charms that i use actually on boltons right i don't use it on anything else just on boltons four speed energies and nine uh, nine lightning type energy if you want you can go three ten uh sorry <laughs> yeah I, I said it right right yeah i said three ten you can go uh, like that it's all good but uh the 4-9 is fine and this is exactly the way you would want to. If you want to put something else, uh, you can get rid of Tapu Kauk. you can play 4th Boltant if you want to. Uh, there is so many room to actually manipulate this deck for your liking, like you can go and get rid of Oranguru. I did rarely use it, but it's nice to just have something you know, in the back of your head that, oh, I can bring stuff back. It doesn't hurt me. It is a great also counter if you're playing a mill type of deck, right? So there's a lot of tags here, but it's a fun little deck. And honestly, it can just really beat those heavy hitters. So let's move on to the gameplay portion. Let's have some fun with the deck. Let's, like without lying, you know, we gotta hit that. No, not tomorrow, because tomorrow is VGC day. So day after tomorrow. I forgot, tomorrow is a VGC day. A V and G and C, the V, G and C. Or should I have to go first? Um, yeah. So like tomorrow during VGC Day, we're gonna test three different teams, and that's gonna be tomorrow. So that it should be fun, right? I hope so. Like I, there are a few that I know how to how they play. That's why I can save three. They're just variants of what we have uh, right now. I mean, you know what they say, right? <laughs> no, it's, a lot, it's not like I'm, I'm, I'm going hard, but it's like. <laughs> How's it going, dude? How's it going, casual? How are we feeling today, mate? How's it going? Okay, I'm gonna only discard two, because I can do a five, and... Pass! I think we're good. Already discarded, five energy, I can bring back five energy. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be the Sigiwai deck. Nice. No, I'm not playing Call of Duty Infinite. This is the Call of Duty Elite version. This is only for Masters. This is not even out yet. So you have a sneak peek of the Call of Duty uh, Invasion. That is going. That is the working title of that game so far. And you know, just keep it hush hush, mate. Keep it hush hush. You know, just between us, Activision doesn't know about it. Three, four, and five. 
I can imagine my opponent being like, what is just happening? What just happened? Like, why? Why he did that? And I'm like, here's why. Bolt Storm. 250? Yeah, that's... It's like, that's my problem of that Bolt Storm. That even when you have like 7, like that's 8 energy on board. That's still 250. Hey Tom, how's it going dude? Hello! You missed absolutely best deck ever, um, but hey, it's gonna be on Monday, uh, on Monday on YouTube, so no worries about that. How are you feeling? How are we doing? How's hospital? What's cracking? Boss is older, so yeah, he's gonna go after Shackle. What did you miss? A beautiful, uh, beautiful, beautiful deck. That actually works. Um, Cradley, Oricorio, and Parasect. Fantastic trio. I think this is, like, strong tier 2. Oh, yeah, I hate that as well. But, you know. It's so like, really. Says Mito, well, I'm gonna work on that on Friday, so you pro I'm probably... You know what, maybe I'm gonna enter with Cradley uh, to find that Pokemon. No, I can't, because Rema's testing. No, we can't. I'm gonna probably play Baby Blaze on Friday, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, pe I'm gonna play Baby, ba Baby Blaze. That's what we're gonna play, yep. So, hey, so you know. You know what Raven plays on Friday? Baby Blaze. And I'm gonna hate myself for doing that, but... We want Rama to test. Yeah, I know what you're playing. I oh, I know. <laughs> oh, I know. All right, and um, Bolt Storm. Just one, and I got one ticket and two coins. <laughs> like the, you see, like the game knows that you're earning too many coins. It's like, nope. <laughs> Our game store is not gonna be able to <laughs> have so many packs. <laughs> Let's leave it. No good. Oh man. Okay, skill dive. Sure. Not it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I have 6,000 only. <laughs> uh, you see, doing those events paid off. Okay. Yeah, GG, there we go. Why are you sorry, dude? Why are you sorry? Aww. You missed what I said. Um, I'm gonna be playing Blaze for Baby Blaze for on Friday, that's what I said. And that, well, that deck that's Cradley and Oricorio. Really, really fun deck. Which is like high tier 2. Yeah. Try to go first, yes. Yes, please. 
I'm, I'm gonna be happy if I'm gonna have like 10,000 coins, you know, for the next set. Maybe 12, but still. Okay, bolt hunt, bolt hunt. Yeah, I mean, this is, you know, the reason is uh, so Rema can play against it. Like, there's no hidden thing. You know? Okay, shuckle. Yep, get that type of Fini. Get that Fini. It still may not be enough. Mwahaha! <laughs> Okay, so big charm, big charm, bring back shackle, here, yep, and I'm gonna discard two more. So I constantly am able to do it kind of like, turn one going first, five energy in discard pile, and then, you know, turn two, go for that, uh, like evolve that Voltorb, right, and use the ability. <laughs> right, switch and turquoise. Oh, my pet has no idea. Okay, crushing ammo, sure. Didn't work. Heat factory, he's still digging, he's still searching. But I, I really dislike this Torquil. That's a really good card. If you can get it, like if you can get start doing Steam Crush, it's really good. But is it good enough? Well, that's a different question. Uh, no, discard two energy. So it just discards two energies. It doesn't say basic. So if you want, you can just go for uh, special energy. I will play the Dana in a second, but let's just use that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, you just have to be careful. <laughs> That's the first stamp. That's the second stamp. Okay, I'm gonna go for Coco Prism. Which is still in the deck, right? Research. Oh, that's good, actually. Oh, wait, Mars Shadow. Bam. Resting Hole. Quick Ball for not one more Bolt on the. Actually, no. Let's get Zera Aura so I can freely retreat. And Bolt Storm. I mean, we've got in the uh, in our league, we've got a player that was using that Torquil, and I mean, it is an annoying card. The problem is that, well, actually, you know, I feel like now it might be better, like post rotation, but you know, because like discarding two is harsh, but it requires that four energy, and yeah. And it doesn't discard from himself.
yeah, I mean, like, this is a two-turn setup, and I feel like if your opponent doesn't have ways to bring back the energy, they are kind of dead on arrival. You know what I'm saying? So, you know... Alright, research. Uh, drag V would be uh, good as well on Mew3. So, yeah, like Tom has a Drag and, 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 and uh, Mew3. I can tell you that. Because we know Tom has uh, both of those, because I've asked him uh, about it. Dude, how much is Torcoil V? This is not looking good. Hey, no, no, no problem. To, like Tom, Tom, relax. No problem. Like no one, you know. No one's, no one's gonna be mad at it by any means. It's all good, mate. It's all good. Right? It's all fine, mate. It's all fine. Okay. Right, so I'm genuinely now thinking about Torco LV. Post rotation, of course. Huh. Because I, mean, I want to play Fire type post rotation. We'll see. In the meantime, I'm fighting here because, like, really, there's not, not gonna be, you know, wait. Like, it, okay, it insta. Yeah, it gets insta knocked out by. Yeah, like, Nine Tails V uh, as an additional card. Yeah. Okay, Ballstorm. Like, okay, like the damage output is not the biggest here. But you can always have Oranguru at the same time and just, you know, do Combustion Pillar. Huh. Because, I mean, like, let's be honest, you know, Sandy Scorch at first is going to be turbo expensive. And I was also thinking about this, right? Like, this gives him 50 more HP if we want. You know, some buff padding. And, yeah, like, no one, you know, like, not everyone is gonna play decks that are weird, like, I'm playing right now, which is, um... Boltunt. That has a really ton of energy. Because E-Powers, okay, so E-Powers are going to be gone. Like, we're getting closer to, like, two-hit meta, right? And, like, discarding two energies. But is it going to be enough? Like, it's definitely a drawback. Okay, let's play one more game here, and maybe I'm just going to do a Torquil today as well.
because I, I know I want to play Santi Scorch, but there's no Pokemon play events, right? I will have League, like normal League, so I can just, yeah, you know what? I think, yeah, mm hmm. Nine Tails V, maybe for, for, for seven matchups, and we're good to go. You know what? But first, first things first. I don't know if you noticed that, but this deck works. <laughs> um, that I'm playing. Really cool deck. Honestly, uh, highly recommending that if you want to play a uh, lightning type deck. Definitely not a deck that will withstand uh, withstand some time, right? Because of uh, because of that GX rotating out, right? Because it is Celestial Storm. But definitely a fun deck to play right now, you know? Yeah, like that's gonna be a tough matchup, that's true. But this is, like, I'm going second, right? Yeah? I mean, it's still weird. I've changed a few things, so we have more Cocos, like, we, we got a few different pieces here. But it's, you know... Yeah, it's weird, like... Let's be honest, it is weird. It's super weird. Um... Yeah. I'm happy that, you, that, you, that you've said logically, yes. Because it, it shouldn't work, that's true. Like, logically it shouldn't, but it does work. And it's kind of insane that, you know, you've got that really good turn once. But you have to go first. But at the same time, you know, Miss Maggie's right, you know, you do that as well. And... No, 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 like you don't know. Okay, so Tom, listen, uh, you want to do only one. So, like, you're going overboard with it. Like, you only want to do, like, one electrode. Like, you don't want to do two. That's what I can tell you from uh, from playing that deck. You don't want to do two. One is fine. One is enough. Uh, okay. So, I'm going to grab a Mon. Which is going to be like literally whatever, so I can play Pokemon com Communication on it. Because like two is, is too much. Okay, that's the second Bolton, that's great. Um, extra energy bomb. So I'm bringing four, just one, two, three, four. Only do two if you have uh, to win, like, yeah. Okay, I don't think I've done the Dene this turn, so let's do it. So the Dene. Wonders Labyrinth, great, 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 this works. Give me that Phalanx, get over here. I don't think that's a knockout, but get over here. Ten damage, ten damage, ten damage, ten damage, no. Okay, but he played alright, so he can't attack, because Wondrous Labyrinth, sorry mate. Why everyone keeps forgetting about the Labyrinth? I have no idea. But I mean, he plays a ton of... Uh... Wait, and he just discarded Marshall? What? Wait, he just discarded the Dojo! Why would you discard a Dojo? You've already attached the energy. No! But probably, yeah, the same reason, yeah. Probably. 
Oh man. I'll f I feel kind of bad for my opponent now. Oh dude. Now he needs to search for energy now. Or for another stadium. I don't. Just. I like when he said, like, don't. <laughs> Bead, okay. Yeah, he has a knockout now. Karate belt, sure. Nope, still standing. I'm still standing. That was a ten dam damage. Um. Okay, here. No, no, I'm not gonna retreat. No, no, no. Stamp. I mean, if, he's, if he wants to... No, you know what? No, I kind of have to retreat. Yeah, let's just retreat. Bolt Storm. Yeah. Because, like, still Karate Belt is not doing anything. And like this, literally, what, what, what you know, what Tom said. Like, this deck should not work, but somehow it does work. Okay, but still, Karate Belt not working. He needs three energies, um, and there's no good engine for a fighting type. So yeah, I think we're we're in a good spot. GG. Exactly. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Torcoil? I mean, like... Hey, thank you guys so much for watching this amazing, amazing deck. I hope you enjoy it, because I do enjoy it. And if you're enjoying what I'm doing over here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like that, for more content. Of course, down there below, we have a 5% discount on any code that purchased on Professor Oak. And I'm making those, you know, those decks uh, from Monday to Friday on Twitch. So you want to be there. Link is down there below. And also, if you want me to play uh, different games, like Assassin's Creed Syndicate right now, and there's uh, Origins coming on a second YouTube channel and on Pokemon Couple Play. So down there below, reviews, everything. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for another deck video. And today, it was still a uh, VGC, right? The VGC team said so that's going to be cool with the new thumbnail. Sorry. Goodbye, good night, have a fantastic rest of the day. Bye.